All right, everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4. Now what we're doing is last time we got, I believe, every quest oh, from Diamond City. You got a robot butler? I want a robot butler. Except I didn't check out security. Officer? Is that a real vault suit? Damn. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs John's handed down haircuts over there. And uh, this way we are, uh, you know, going to check out the security office. I actually just started walking down randomly, talking, because, you know, as one does for intros that you don't plan, you just start walking your character around. This does not look like a security office. Gotta be honest, this looks kind of fucked. But, uh... Hey, I think those bulb brothers are looking for you. Okay, so another quest for me, then. Uh, there's nobody in the cell, which is nice. That means that there's not an additional quest there for me. Uh, oh, I can get in here. Oh, that's to steal items. I don't want to do that, because not only do I not want to steal from the county or whatever this place... Yeah. I guess it's a city. These, this little militia police force type deal. Uh, but I also don't want Cosworth to not like me. And also, I don't want to get shot. That may be the big thing, is I don't want to get shot. So I can open him up. But, um, what's this way? Is this just their barracks, then? Hey, officer. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's paraders only. The combat zone. Ooh, the combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. I do remember there's somebody in the combat zone that there is, something is cool. That went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Ray Smith is right I behind you, baby. There. Abandoned forever. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start on anyway. You should turn around. There might be someone behind you, but not Grace Oh. Alright, he really does not know what he's talking about. Uh, the radio guy. I forget his name. Kevin Jeffrey something. I don't know. Friggin' hole. Ghouls and chemheads all over. I mean, that's fine. I think I've been everywhere I can go. I was expecting, like, an official, like, desk. Oh. Nice. I, really? I'm hearing about a bunch of shit. Alright, now apparently this is the place where there is a broken terminal. Some drugs. And some cigarettes. Alrighty then. That's cool, I guess. Welcome to Diamond City Police Station. It looks... Very well kept. You know, not much upkeep needed. Oh, jeez. But, I don't know if you can tell by the fact that uh, I'm talking a little bit more and I seem to be a little bit more engaged, is I'm actually in a pretty good mood for quite a few reasons. Uh, one is I'm actually bulk recording a whole bunch of content because I'm going on a weekend trip with a friend uh so that's gonna be cool you know get out of the house amid all of this dying down covid stuff so take a couple days to just decompress that'll be fun as hell and also in the middle of all of it pretty much one of my favorite content creators of all time came back uh ssohpkc shameless odarity not that you know i'm gonna be giving him a shout out we'll do anything but he's awesome he helped me out through a lot of rough times. Uh, just having his content to listen to and his style of humor really shaped who I was growing up. That, that was a lot of like high school and middle school for me. But like, oh, the Bubba Butter Brothers. Oh God, English. How do I get back to them? Um, but yeah, he he came back after another hiatus and he kept taking a lot of hiatuses for his own personal reasons and he it sounds like he deserved them but then he just you know he's back and that's the big that's the big part that i'm really happy about um but yeah so that really made me want to sit down and make sure that i didn't miss a daily upload where is the dugout in uh is it this way oh it's right here but yeah that made me want to make sure that i didn't miss another daily upload because that's what I've been doing, just because 
I don't know. I just wanted to keep it going. Because this is something that I actually do enjoy. And he's actually a big reason that I've wanted to do it for years, but... I've just never done it. I don't know why. But oh, the Bobrov brothers need me. Okay. Try it, you. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Yes. It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Agreed. Uh... Yeah, it is pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Pete. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. But, Tim... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he... You know, disappeared. Uh, are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you. I'm not killing him. All right, that's enough. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we was just. Joking around a bit. <laughs> you were pretty serious, dude. I don't know. Travis, is a good Travis, that's his name. Yet him and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Uh, let's, uh, let's turn it around. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. <laughs> All right. So. What? Green. I'm busy. Uh, huh. I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel. Of the Commonwealth, it's Diamond City Radio. Come on, come on, guys! A diamond uh, it's a Radio City, yes. Oh wow, this is actually where we need to go. Okay. What? This is the office? Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I don't know what that means. Unlike my deadbeat brother. All right. Good guy. He deserves better life. Uh, details. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? Uh, I can hold my own. I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? So I get to fit. How's that work? How would something like that even work? It makes sense. I promise. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real top look. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Yeah, sure. I... Why involve me? Yeah, why were they looking for me specifically, actually? Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight alone. Not even fake one. <laughs> he needs help. Well, you that's a roast. Help. Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock, and everything will be ready. Okay. Uh. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna figure out how do we wait. I don't think I ever figured out how to wait. So controls. I thought I could wait. Uh, 
Uh, how do I wait? <laughs> Uh, hold the corner? No. Double tap doesn't do anything. Swiping doesn't do anything. So I guess I'm gonna... Or can you not stand and wait? I'll take your order whenever you're ready. Scarlet, uh, maybe. Just looking. Sure, no problem. I don't know how to wait. How do you wait? Yeah. Tell me if you need a room. Otherwise, the bar is over there. I don't want to buy a room, though. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Oh, this is where you are at night, and this is why I couldn't do anything. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. So, do I have to sit to wait? Oh, I have to sit to wait. That's annoying. So I'm going to wait 22 hours. So it'll be about almost 8 p.m. All right. So apparently I'm going to help a man who can't fight fight. Because he's so inept that he can't even pretend to fight. What does he look like? Am I going to take one look at this kid and be like, I feel called out right now? Is that where this is going to go? They said he believes he can't do anything, so he doesn't do anything. Alright, so let's get going. Oh, great. It's you. Okay, so I'm assuming these are the tough fellas. So let's... I have a lot of quests. I had like four... How many? Uh, okay, I have quite a few quests now, so we're going to turn this one on. Because Travis... Oh, hi, boy. Hey, what's your problem? I'm just gonna walk away from that. You run into feral ghouls. Keep the distance. Mine's so how's this gonna shoes. go? I, I don't. I don't. Uh, okay. I usually don't. I could use one this of those robots. <laughs> As could every household. Are you doing okay, Travis? Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. I <laughs> don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. Oh my god, the squeaky voice. Go away. Yeah, let's do let's something. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I, I... That might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. I got your back. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Yeah, Jack Codsworth likes that. Will be at your side <gasps> every step of the way. Oh, Codsworth, I love you. Okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Uh, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave oh my me god. Alone. This Sounds is like kind of sad to watch. About saying, or else. <laughs> Were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? These are actually some tough looking dudes. Codsworth, are you okay? That. What you gonna Codsworth, do? Codsworth, can you man? stop, please? Uh, I'll beat you up! <laughs> Big mistake, Travis. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you. Okay, that doesn't Enter really sound. Codsworth, please stop. Oh my god. Alright, I'm actually getting kind of rocked here. Ah, oh, god, my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just bullshit. Uh, I guess he wasn't expecting this is bullshit, an actual fight. This is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? Okay, I guess he didn't expect an actual fight. Yo, dude, are you okay? You'll All right. Diamond City security being unhelpful. Uh, ignore him like I do. Okay, Becky, hey, I want to talk to Travis I mean, quick. I mean, hi. 
Again. Uh. Hi. Hi. Travis, we're not flirting. You can you can just talk. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. Yeah, this changes things. Well, this changes things for you. I guess. Maybe it does, huh? I, I just never thought I could do anything like that. Boy, I just... I ju well, I don't even know what to say. I, I think maybe I... I need some time to think. How about all of this? Listen, though. Thanks. A lot. Whoa, what happened to his voice? Hey, Travis. I, I don't... I don't... Uh, okay. I usually... What happened to his voice at the end? That was weird. All right. You got serious for a second. I think that went well. Vadim, let's talk. Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Oh, no. More fighting? Not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, oh my God. it might do him some good. So I'm literally setting this dude's life up. Why me? Why yeah, still, I why me? Involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. I tell her she needs to go see Travis. Suddenly she is thinking... <laughs> She is no longer <laughs> oh. just waitress. Okay, yeah, that just makes sense. Do whatever it takes, and you and I never talked about this, all right? Yeah, we never talked about it. Uh, Scarlet. Scarlet. Wait. So Scarlet is not working right now? Scarlet. That was the that was the girl in the red dress, right? I think it was a red dress. The one who kept asking me if I wanted to order something. Oh, my audio cut out. That's good. Where are you, Scarlet? Scarlet, we need you to go talk to Travis. And Okay, good talk, Percy. Uh, this way. Alright, we need you to talk to Travis and make him have some confidence, I guess. Where? Oh, is she out? Where? Why are you here? What is here? 